And we're back. There's a little farmhouse right here in front of me that I'm just going to quickly go get. My fucking allergies are going bananas. Sorry to anybody who's like, fuck dude, if I hear that kid sniffle one more time, instead of like watching these videos, I'm going to find him and I'm going to shoot him in the neck. I apologize to everybody who wants to shoot me in the neck. There's a cute little... No, oh, you fucker. Where the fuck did this guy come from? That was weird. You see that? That perk caused it to, like, kind of not unload the shell. Victoria, are you going to fucking kill that guy, or are you going to run away and get poisoned the whole way down the road? Yeah, punch. Yeah. Thank you. And she's recovered. So there's Rex. He's, I guess, on my team now, too. I was looking at this door up here, and I was like, huh, door up there, and then all of a sudden I was getting fucking poisoned. I did get tough guy, which means that I'm not going to get quite as much uh, damage to my limbs as I was getting before. But I'm still going to get damaged to my limbs. I think this is the counterfeit bottle cap place. This is where the counterfeit bottle caps are actually coming from. But would you believe that Alice Lafferty doesn't give a shit if you find this place? If you find it and you tell her about it, she's just like... Or you can't tell her about it. You, it's just... You find it and she doesn't give a shit is pretty much what goes down there. Whatever. Fuck her. She's a bitch. Oh no, this is the follower safe house. And we probably have the key. Let's see if there's anything decent in here. A couple of doctor's bags would go a long way. Okay, so I know I don't need to get to lockpick 75 at this point. Uh, but I'm going to pu pump into it anyways. Just because. Alright, so here's this lady, Dr. Loria. I could use some stems. Uh, I guess these ones? Do you have any doctor's bags? I don't give a fuck about anything else at this point in the game. So I guess I don't have... Oh, because I don't have the equipment for it. But anyways, yeah. Let's actually demonstrate this right now. Oh, fuck. I've got Eddie's. i got all my... Eddie's got all my shit. He has my magazines. He has everything. So that's cool. So they have a bunch of shit laid out in here. Uh, and nobody's going to use it but me. I don't know what the all-purpose science suit does. There's the advanced radiation suit. And here's this reinforced combat armor. So we'll take that. We'll take the magazines. Uh, I guess I can't sleep while taking health damage. Just take all this shit. Nobody's going to use it but me, and I'm probably never coming back in here. Uh, there's nothing in those foot lockers. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. A pack of cigarettes and some beer, huh? Uh, we need that. And that's it. Alright, so let's just take a little look-see what we got here. Because I don't know if I've ever come up to the followers' safe house. They have th this thing, which does science 5. Uh, I have this thing, which does science 10. don't know why I would need this thing. I guess because it has higher DT. There's this one with the rad radiation or radiation resistance, which we may find useful. This is already fucking maxed out, and it's actually reinforced. So it's not quite as good as the combat armor, or the combat armor I'm wearing. Um, but it's better than the combat armor that Veronica was wearing, I think, right? 17, 20, and hers was 15. So if I repair my shit with her shit, and I give her that shit, then she can be cool. She can even have this ugly fucking helmet that I hate so much. I like that this thing isn't even close to fully repaired. 
<laughs> the combat helmet is so fucking dumb looking. She looks like she's gonna fly a fucking helicopter in that thing. I hate it. Um, if this thing could be repaired with this thing, then I would totally do that. Because I would rather have the rad resistance. And I probably will keep that around, but anyways. Uh, I can't repair any of this stuff, I don't think. It's just for some reason that she just had all that shit. So yeah, we actually have the keys for another safe house. We can go to the NCR safe house. And there's some armor and shit in there that's pretty interesting. Uh, but I can't wear it for two reasons. The first of which is that it's faction armor, so I would just be walking around as the NCR and for no fucking reason, you know, the great cons or somebody would start shooting at me and then I would k defend myself and all of a sudden everybody would fucking hate me and I would be sad and alone again. A lonely old lady in a retirement home. So we're not going to wear faction armor. And the other thing is that the only armor that's in there that would be worth a damn, I think, is the um, the like NCR power armor that doesn't require power armor training. Which would be cool because Grandma here doesn't have that, but it's definitely faction armor. I think I tried to get Veronica to wear it one time and she was like, no, I'm not going to wear that. It's not, it's not my fucking favorite. It's not my favorite thing. I don't care if it'll keep me alive. Fucking picky buttholes. I couldn't get Raul to wear Brotherhood of Steel shit either. I wonder if he would wear that other stuff. Who knows? So, that's Ruby Hill Mine. If you go in there, there's a whole fucking lot of nothing. Um, there's a road that we want to get off on. It's actually right here. I just want to go to that marker so that I don't walk past that road. Because every, everywhere up here kind of looks more or less the same. There's also... Somewhere up here is the Followers Cave. Or not Followers. Uh, the, the Enclave Remnants, I think is what it's called. And you have to go up there after you do Auld Lang Syne with Arcade Ganon, but it's kind of a bummer because you don't benefit from it in any way when you do Auld Lang Syne. I think he starts wearing his sweet fucking dad's power armor, but it's not like the the boomers where you can go in there and they're, you're idolized and they give you a discount or whatever on your shit. Um... It basically, they just help you fight with a vertibird in the last battle. I've personally never had much trouble with the last battle, so I don't understand why everybody needs to be fucking on your team with that shit. If you, because I usually do the independent, yeah, the independent ending. So I'm of the opinion that my securitrons are plenty active for me. I, I almost always get the army to help me with the legion or whatever. And by the time I get around to doing that, I can actually talk the legate out of fighting me with a hundred speech check. You got this, Rex. So, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going down here to this last radio tower, and then we can fast travel back and forth to these places, but you will get all these places, talk to these five dudes, then you go back and she says, here's some weird reports, but I don't believe them. Will you go confirm them on foot? And then you go confirm them on foot and none of them are true. And then you go back and she's like, I knew it. Somebody's fucking bullshitting me. And you help her find out who's bullshitting her. And, you know, the inevitable thing that happens is it's Captain fucking important. And he's just manipulating the signals to, I guess make the NCR more afraid so that they work harder or something? Like, the, the fucking... Yeah, the misinformation that he spreads is that one, the Great Cons have trained up some Death Claws, which is not that crazy of a thing to think, because in Fallout 2 you can have a Death Claw companion. Um, two, that some fucking camp had like massive fucking... Uh, losses from some fucking fight. I swear I followed that dirt road, but I ended up just coming out in the middle of goddamn nowhere. 
And the last thing is that... Um, I don't even remember what the last one is. It has something to do with the Legion. Uh, nice, I'm a good guy. I'm not gonna lie to her. We're not gonna collect on her fucking debt. Okay, so we got all that shit. Um, I'm gonna travel back to Silver Peak. Well, I guess we don't need to go to Jacobstown yet anyways. Let's just tell her to give us the next round of bullshit to do, and then we'll end this video. I know I did a lot of walking and a lot of talking, but not a whole lot of shooting and quest completing, but... That's how Fallout is sometimes, you know? They just fucking pad the goddamn stats every once in a while. Alright. Okay. I guess that's the thing we'll do. Alright. I will come back and we'll figure out what's next. Bye.